this is Karen Stiller and I'm going to show you how to make a duct tape wallet. So you're going to start with some duct tape. They come in a wide variety of colors. Today we're going to work with blue and green. So I'm going to start by tearing off some duct tape. I am going to need 10 10 inch strips. Now I can use my measuring tape and I can measure exactly to 10 inches and cut it off, but this is duct tape. You don't have to do that. You can cut it to approximately the same length and then eventually we'll trim it up. So get to cutting 10 10 inch strips. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so now we've cut our 10 10 inch strips and we're going to take the first one and lay it face down on our working surface. Then I'm going to take the next one and overlap it a little bit, about halfway, with that first one. Smooth it out and then either turn it or flip it, doesn't matter. And I'm just going to keep overlapping, covering up so that I have no white showing and smoothing it out, continuing to overlap. Notice my lengths are not matching up perfectly, but that's okay. Main goal is to make sure it's long enough to hold our paper money, which this definitely will. And once I have overlapped all of my pieces, then I know I can fold over my edges to make a nice neat edge. Fantastic. I'm going to check to see how long it needs to be. I want to make sure I leave a little bit of space for my edging that I'm going to put on to seal this and I want to make sure there's definitely enough room for my bill. So I'm going to trim to about here. I can always make it smaller if I need to. So I'm going to err on the side of too long. Alright. I'm going to fold up my bill fold, but I'm going to leave a little bit of space here so that my bill will be able to peek out so I can see my dollars. Then I'm going to cut two six inch strips of the same color. Go ahead and get started on that. So I've cut my six inch strips, fold my wallet back over, line it up, and I'm going to sweep it over. I'm going to cut off the top and the bottom excess and then do the same with this one. What I'm basically doing is sealing up the sides so that none of my money will get out and it won't tear apart. Now I've got a place to stick my money. If I want to add a decoration to it I can use another color, like let's say green, and I can make a racing stripe for my wallet. I can start by tucking it a little bit inside and wrapping it around. A little too much, so I'll trim that off. And then just make sure to tuck it down inside. And I've got the perfect duct tape wallet to hold all my cash. Good luck with yours.